In this video, I will show you how you can deploy a Jakarta EE application to a local Payara application server using IntentEJ. To start, you first have to download the Payara application server. Therefore, go to the official homepage of Payara, go to Software, Downloads, All Downloads. And then here you get a link um, to download the Payara server from Maven. You can follow this link and within here you can now pick the latest version click on download and specify that you want to download the zip file and then save this file and unzip it i've already done this so i will skip this part and continue with uh, intellij as an example project, I have created one with my Maven archetype. So it's a simple Java 11 Jakarta EE8 application, which has one REST endpoint to return a message with, which gets injected with MicroProfile config. To now deploy the Jakarta EE application to IntelliJ, we have to configure um, the Payara server. And therefore we can click here on add configuration and we can add a new configuration and within here we can search for Glassfish. So as Payara is a fork of Glassfish, we can reuse this Glassfish server plugin of IntelliJ. So there's no specific Payara plugin for IntelliJ. We can click on here. Then if you do this for the first time, you won't find here an application server in the dropdown to choose from. And so we have to first um, tell IntelliJ where to find the IR server on our disk. So I've downloaded it to the downloads folder and unzipped it already and then I can choose this PyR5 folder. And if everything is working it should now display the number we downloaded. So this is working. We can click on OK. So if you do this uh, it will there will be some complaints uh, which we can fix. So the first is we have to specify a, a server domain. So for default there are two domains within Payara. The first is domain one and the other one is production. So for local development we can pick domain one. Then IntelliJ warns us that we didn't specify an artifact yet for deployment. So let's fix this. Go to the deployments tab, click on plus and choose our war file which we want to deploy and if that's in there we can now give this configuration a name so let's call it Payara and there are some actions we can trigger after it gets deployed so I will I will not launch the browser as we don't need it we can specify here a, a username and a password to log in for the admin console what we can also do is specify the Java runtime to, to work with. So the latest Payara is capable of running with Java 11. So I'll pick here Java 11. Another nice thing is you can configure in the deployment tab under which context root you know, the application should be deployed. So uh, for more convenient uh, developer experience, I will choose the root context here and click on apply. Then we can click on OK. And now a new tab opens within IntelliJ, the services tab, and within here, we can now start our Glassfish server. This will now start um, Payara locally and will already deploy our wall file to Payara. So within here, you get an output what's what's happening. So you see here the deployment took four seconds right now. The server is up and running and our application is deployed. We also get access to the actual logs. So we can switch here to the Glassfish log. Make sure to, to pick the right log level you want to see. So I've picked uh, the info log level and then we can get here the, the normal logs uh, which Payara outputs while it starts. So now as it is deployed, um, let's check if everything is up and running. So curl for the sample endpoint. And we will see here, I'm getting my result. So the injected message gets uh, uppercased and then returned as a simple string. So if you're doing changes to your application, like let's remove this, you can go back to the services tab and 
within the server to redeploy it. So mark the deployment and then click on this deploy icon and this will then redeploy the application which shouldn't take that long. Let's see, so within one second it got redeployed. Let's verify it. Yes, and so this now returns the string not uppercased and the application was redeployed. With this plugin you can also launch Payara in debug mode. So sometimes you might need to start it in debug mode to see what's happening. So just click on the debug icon here and it will then stop Payara if it was already running and start it in debug mode. Once it's up and running, we can add a breakpoint to this endpoint here and then again request it. And right now we are in our debug mode, like you know it from IntelliJ and can do whatever we want, evaluate expressions, step into our code, step through it, see what's happening, have a look at the local variables and much more. So it's also quite convenient to use and, and to debug the application. So let's resume here and we should again see our result here. So that's working. That's everything I wanted to share with you on um, deploying a um, Jakarta EE8 application to Payara with IntelliJ. Thank you.